Welcome to the Weekend Warriors Diecast channel. So I recently picked up this little car. It's a little Nash Metro. Um, I don't like the way the wheels stick out. I don't like the white base. Um, I'm going to see if I can change this up a bit. Overall, it's a real cool little car. Um, I really like the casting overall. So I'm not going to mess with the paint on the top. It looks good. Um, I'll probably add some, some detail here because you can see it's just... The headlights are just some chrome pieces. The engine just all chrome. Uh, the interior all chrome. So let's add some details, some tail lights. Let's give this base some color, and hopefully we'll have a nice little car once we're done. But you can see it's just a neat casting. Very cool. All right, stick around. Okay, so I got all the pieces apart. You can see uh, it's got a nice, nice little body here. It looks great body itself and the paint looks great. Nice little two-tone paint. But this white, cheap plastic base sucks. I'm not fond of these wheels. We'll see what we can do. I may have to grind some pieces out and see if we can get these wheels to tuck in a little better. The engine needs painted. I'll see if I can take this. We'll um, primer this and get this base done in just a moment here. Okay, I've got everything primered up. I just primered this and I clear coated it with some lacquer. Um, hopefully it holds up well, gives a little bit of a gloss, and hopefully it looks good with the rest of the car once I assemble it. The uh, body, you can see I drilled and tapped, tapped, and I put some little screws in there, so I will be screwing this together once I'm done. Hopefully that goes good with that gray. I think it, no matter what, it'll be better than the white base that they had. It was just too shiny white. So now I think I'll go ahead and I'll paint some of this engine up and the detail of the interior, and we'll get that looking somewhat decent. Let's see how this comes together. Um, let's get started. Well, let's see what we can get. See, I'm just using a broad, crappy brush. So let's get some blue on this seat. Probably would have been better off black, almost like those racing buckets, right? That's what they look like to me. A lot of people are probably in the habit of doing you know, brown or black like I do. So let's change it up. Step out of my comfort zone here. Not bad. Maybe a blue dash. Let's do that. We'll get some color in here. So I just continue adding paint here. I'm just going to go over all the blue spots that I want to add. I just continue to hit everything. And then I start with some black and I want to add it to the inside, to the console to the steering wheel on the column and the inside of the door panels. So just trying to add, some, add a little different color to the interior. Hopefully it looks good once it's done. And I continue just to you know, go over everything, add some detail wherever I can. And you can see it's turning out quite nice. Uh, the blue is definitely different than my normal shades of brown that I would typically do. So I want to do something a little different with this one. And the blue kind of stands out when you look inside the, the windshield of the car. I dress the motor with some blue as well. We'll add some, uh, that's looking pretty good. I think I'm going to add a little more black to the base there. I want this to be black up here, right? I've got like this Harbor Freight generic Dremel type tool. It's not the best, but I got like a little sanding piece, put on there a round sanding bit, and then uh, I grinded down some parts on this so that way when I assemble it with the new wheels, it'll go on. So there's a lot of grinding that went on with these pieces. And I'll show you that in a moment. But the Dremel tool that I use is just this cheap little thing, and I had to grind down. You can see the, this piece here. You can see where I grinded down all in here. I narrowed that up both front and back with that tool. Um, I didn't capture that on film, but you can see what I did there. And I just used the same tool on the tabs on this. So that way when this goes together, you know, it'll, um, you see it just kind of snaps into place. You can see the, the headlights go right in those little grooves there. Uh, I've seen people use this tubing for axle tubes. So I'm going to try to cut a couple pieces and then uh, shorten these axles a bit. We'll see how it works out for me. What I wanna do now, I wanna get my glue out, my glue down, 
So I ended up taking the wheels. So these are the, the stock wheels that came on it, right? And these were front and back. You can see these long tabs. I probably should have cut these off right here. Just cut that off and just extended the axle a little longer. But I did this instead. And I don't know if this can be a great idea. And the, the front are just going to go sit right there. Okay, I, I assembled it. I'm going to add some details to the uh, bumpers, the parachute, headlights, taillights, that sort of thing. So I just got a, uh, I got a paint marker. I'm just going to hit some pieces with and see if we can add some, some chrome here. Let's add some light. Add some white to this. This parachute in the back. That's what it looks like a parachute, right? Oh. There we go. There we go. That looks good. Just lightly right there. Lightly right there. Add a little. Pretty good, pretty cool a little buzz there. I'll get some glamour shots and I'll share these with you. And thanks for watching.